Gospel Beats, and I'm your host, Miss Deanie. And on today, we, it's a very special segment of the Gospel Hot... Of, I want to say Gospel Hotspot, y'all. That's my radio show. Just excuse me. It's very special to me today because I will be hosting LA Gospel Beats. And what better way to start it off than with my pastors, Pastor Alonzo Frank and Pastor Ollie Frank of Spirit and Truth Ministries right here in the city of Lafayette. So y'all don't go anywhere because you know what? Here we are, ready to give you what you need. Welcome, Pastor Ali. Thank you. Oh, God has truly blessed me to have you guys. My, yes. I'm hosting this show, and what better way to start it off with my pastors? <laughs> y'all, I don't you. have one but two. <laughs> God is so good. He loves you that much. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm trying not to get soft on it, you know, because when we talk about the Lord, it's intimate, right? Yes. But listen, I want to send a shout out to someone very special dear to my heart, Pastor Reverend Dr. Wayne Landry for allowing me to take over the reins and for Miss Sudi Landry for trusting me to do God's will with this show. But right now we want to say again, welcome Pastor Alonzo and Pastor Ali Frank. And we want you to let the people who are listening know about you guys. Yes. Pastor Alonzo. Well, um, I'm Pastor Alonzo and this is uh, my lovely wife, Ali Frank. Um, and um, we're, we're the pastors at Spirit and Truth Church here in Lafayette, Louisiana, um, 1128 West Simcoe Street, um, a church with a passion for God and compassion for people. I mean, it's just been a pleasure just, just doing God's will, being in his total desire, um, edifying the body. I'm just trying to, you know, um, build, build and continue to build and continue to lead God's people um, in the right direction. Yes, and you know, um, what I love about it is that, Ms. Sudi said it earlier, we all came back full circle. Yes. And what I'm saying by that, even before this, we, before we began this journey together, we were on another journey together. And it's amazing how God is doing things in our lives because uh, we were about his business even before he placed you guys where he has placed you. And I just thank God for you guys to, to know that um, the prayers, Pastor Ali, that you prayed for me even before I ever thought about doing God's will. Isn't that awesome? God is so good. He's a prayer answering God. And, you know, this is my gift. I know one of my gifts is to serve. And, and, you know, I look at myself as a servant. That's what Jesus was. And he has blessed us to be in a position to be able to serve uh, like Jesus did and just mm. pour out love, you know, because this yeah. is what it's about. Love and kindness is how he drew people. So it's, a, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be here with you and see how the Lord is moving. You know, because when you plant, when you sow seed, mm -hmm. to watch them blossom and, mm -hmm. you know, to see the harvest, you want it to produce way more than you can ever produce. So it's like to see the fruit of, you know, the labor. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's rewarding. It it's is. It's a blessing. And you know what? It's so rewarding because to know that um, y'all didn't know my pastor is an artist in music, huh? Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, and don't and, and Pastor Al is also <laughs> an artist in praise dance. Y'all didn't know that, huh? You see, like she said, her one of her gifts. And what's so good about it? Uh, these two people here, when you see them somewhere, they don't place themselves as look at me, serve me. Or you better recognize that I'm a pastor. You know, they don't greet you that way. They greet you, like you said, with the love of God. Amen. You know, compassion in your heart. And y'all, when I get to church, <laughs> after my radio show, <laughs> Pastor Alonzo is still on fire. He's still yes. giving me. So don't ever think church is almost over. You can get a lot in, in the benediction. You can yes. get a lot while Pastor Ali and the rest of them are up there praying. Yes. It's such a blessing. And you know, there's something else that uh, the church looks uh, to the streets because there's a big block party yes. that's coming. Yes. Can you, you want to? 
it's, so it's, we're having a, a block party. We're partnering with the Pregnancy Center and Clinic, and we're having a block party September the 26th. Um, really exciting. We did it on last year, and we had like 20, what, 300 people um, on last year. And so this year we're expecting even more. And, and it's so rewarding because it's bringing awareness to the community what the Pregnancy Center and Clinic mm -hmm. offers. And um, it, we're just excited about it. It'll be free food, entertainment, mm -hmm. music, guest speakers. So we're inviting the community to come out. It's a free event. We'll have health screening, diaper derby, uh, free snowballs, Creole flavor snowballs. Will be there giving snowballs. Um, Richard, uh, Neil Richard uh, with Richard Meat Market has donated uh, all the meat for us to be able to give. So we're really excited about what the Lord is doing. Yes. And Patrice at the Pregnancy Center and Clinic and, and the crew, Chelsea, um, mm -hmm. Denise, Angela, Shona, they're doing a uh, wonderful work there. So we love partnering with the Pregnancy Center and Clinic. You know, and that's what it's all about, Pastor Alonzo, because, you know, you, you just don't keep it in the four walls. Exactly. You know, you take it to the street because I just, I mean, I love it. Mm -hmm. I, I love to know that we are not just telling people, um, come on in church and all this. Where they at now? You are where they are. Exactly. Am I right, Pastor? Yes, we are, and, and it's, it's much more than, I mean, mm -hmm. this is a big event. And the thing is, is, this is not something that we pursued. And, I mean, this is something that uh, came to us. And, yeah. I mean, if you, if you humble yourself, the Bible says that God will exalt you. Yeah. So, um, I mean, this is something, that, and we're, we're what considered to the, the sizes of the churches today, right. a small church. But I also say, always say that we're a small church, but we're making a big impact. Um, yes. around the community, mm -hmm. um, pretty much all over because we're on the radios. So, yeah. I mean, it's not just only in the community. It's, 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 it's reaching, I mean, many states. Uh, yes. By the Internet, it's reaching many countries. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, this is a wonderful opportunity. And, yes, you, this is ministry, and it's not just confined between the four walls. Um, there's so much stuff that we do, like yeah. we reach out to the nursing homes. Um, we got um, people in the hospitals. Um, um, we, I mean, we do um, hospice. We have, I mean, it's just so much. I'm sorry. I can't even remember it <laughs> all, all right, but it's but a lot of stuff that we yeah. do. It's not just confined uh, within the four walls. I mean, it's, it's a ministry going on, and it's not just in the building, but we're taking ministry outside also. That's it. And, you know, ladies and gentlemen, listen, you probably want to get up and get something to drink. That's okay. Just put the TV on pause because you know if you have that rewind, you could do that. But I want to let y'all know that the Lord wants you to know that if you're searching, we're not asking you to join, but if you're searching, which I know you are, why don't you come on by and visit us at 1128 Simcoe Street, Spirit and Truth. Come and get a word. You know, like um, Pastor said, we're about people, about souls reaching souls for Christ, compassion for people. I want to let you know that young men, come on, come as you are. Young women, come as you are. There is a children in all ages. Yes, We're yes. not, you know, it's all ages. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes. Awesome teachers. Yes, yes. You know, there's a women group. There's a men's group, um, a youth group. Yes. You know, yes. it takes me back to the yes. old days. <laughs> they sing their little hands yes. like you know, <laughs> the music is there. Right. That's where it right. all started for But you know, yeah, that's, that's, that's what, you know, and, and it's, it's a blessing. You know what else is a blessing to me that I've I seen that um, the young men, y'all, yes. the usher, they're ushering, yes. they're serving. Yes. You know, yes. it's so awesome to know that um, you guys started this even before. Mm -hmm. You didn't see yeah. what God had ahead, but you knew that he had it. So you guys position yourself mm -hmm. yeah. because you work with the youth for ever yeah. since I've been knowing you yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. And that's awesome. where that's where I mean basically where we started at because mm -hmm. um our pastor he was in I mean doing basically everything and mm -hmm. you know, we just we got together and said, you know what, why don't we give him a break on this area? Mm -hmm. Since we were um young and, and vibrant and energetic, so we mm -hmm. say, Well, why don't we take up the youth? Um, and we approached him with it and gave us the okay. 
pretty us pretty much um, just told us to take it and run with it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and that y'all Those did. were some good old days. Oh, yeah. Those were oh, good days. And that y'all did, and mm -hmm. you know, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. These two young people here, young pastors, what y'all did. Y'all didn't wait for them to come to you. You yeah. went to them yeah. and yeah. reached out. The Lord said, whatever we find. Yeah. Right. Hands to do, let's do it. Right. You know, y'all did it and y'all didn't complain. Look like every weekend y'all yeah. had something going on. Every Ladies weekend. and gentlemen, every let me tell you how <laughs> awesome. And the word of God says for us not to boast. Let other men do it. Am yeah. I right? So I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. I, I seen what you guys did and I wanted what y'all had. You know, that's what the Lord said. How bad do you want it? You know, we must connect ourselves to right to those who are connected to the source mm -hmm. and we will have it too because so many people oh i could do better than that oh i could do this and right. failing to realize that we're serving one god and what yes. he did back then he's yes. doing it yes. now yes. so we yes. must get connected elijah and elijah whoop, whoop, Correct. you know <laughs> but listen yes. say for instance someone want to speak with you guys and they don't want to speak before the whole church do you go out and do counseling you oh, yes, definitely. So we definitely have a awesome counseling ministry. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of counseling. So yeah. we, um, I tell you, it seemed like the whole summer month we was <laughs> scheduled to mm -hmm. counsel every weekend. We do Saturday, Sunday. Um, so we're definitely open for counseling, and we do counsel. Do we do free counseling? So everything that our church offer, this ministry offer. We try with all our heart to do it for free. Um, I, I tell you, God has blessed this ministry greatly. Tremendous. And um, yes. he has blessed us to be a blessing. So he said our cup would run over, and he has definitely done that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, someone spoke into our lives years ago, and he said that we would be like a distribution center. You know, mm -hmm. things would be coming. We'd have supplies coming in one door and issuing it out in the other. And I tell you, the Lord is really doing that prophecy has come to pass so we're so excited about what the Lord is doing and it's just mm. great and you know one of the things I know uh, Pastor Alonso mentioned about us getting involved with the youth our children was in that age group and you know <clears throat> we look at the young people on today and we don't want them to get caught up in in um, what's going on with the, the normal norm, what society think is the norm. So, you know, we was always active and in the ministry and we knew that we wanted to be even more active and we wanted them to be involved. And so we really got involved and they loved everything we did. We was at church sometimes seven days a week mm -hmm. doing things with mm -hmm. the youth and, mm -hmm. and, and the youth look forward. They would tell us, oh, my mom said, she know we're with you guys, so it's okay. And I'm like, we awesome? didn't even meet your mom yet, yeah. you know, but it was okay. I mean, we would pick up, mm -hmm. we would make trips, we would do, it didn't matter, you know. And who yeah, God house called, full. yes, our <laughs> house was oh. always full. But who God calls to do a work, he, he will sustain you, he'll supply everything you need. Mm -hmm. It'll be of no burden, it, it's a blessing, mm -hmm. it truly is. Now, you know, there, there are many that are watching, and many will be watching because this will be on YouTube. There, there's a young lady that's thinking, well, I'm single, and here she is with her husband. What, how will that apply to me? What would you tell that young lady? Someone who would be interested in getting involved in the ministry? You know, yeah, someone would say, well, she has someone to help her. She has a helpmate. I don't have a, a helpmate. So maybe that's why she could talk like she's talking, because there are people that say that. You know, and you are so awesome, Pastor Ali. So she's sitting there, or maybe rocking her child, no telling. What would you tell her? Mm -hmm. Pastor Ali? I, I could answer this. Actually, she's in a better position, you know. She's in a better position because, yes, we're married, so we got to worry about not only the things of God, but we got to take care of family. We can't look like family also. Mm -hmm. She has an advantage. She has just her and God, you know, mm -hmm. her and Jesus. So mm -hmm. she have that relationship right now. Just like the Apostle Paul said, you know, I, 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 I'd rather you not be married like I am because he was saying that, you know what, I can focus my attention. I don't have to be distracted yeah. by the things of this world. Even though we have to, I mean, we can't neglect our family. Mm -hmm. But like I say, she's in a better position. 
she to um to better uh, uh serve to better right. serve you know yeah because she don't have many distractions so y'all hear that right you're sitting out there saying oh yeah they could say all that but listen what he's saying that you don't have to worry about what my wife wants or what my husband needs mm -hmm. it's just you and jesus mm -hmm. and then jesus shall supply he said that he would yes. you know so and the young man who's out there just saying, oh man, it's too late for me. This is the way life is. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you that this young man right here is raising a, has raised an, an awesome young man. And you've seen him on the show and you will see him again. I'm talking about Zoe Frank, young Zoe. But now he's big Zoe now. <laughs> and to see the men in the ministry. So men, you have the opportunity. Um, this is not just a one show thing. Um, Pastor Alonzo Frank, he is on KAJN on Sunday nights, yes. am I right? Mm -hmm. At 10 o'clock, yes. Pastor Ali, yes. y'all are on. KJCB on Tuesday mornings at 7.30. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know, you could hear the word. Say you want to call them. Well, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's a number to contact. Yes. 337-344-3820. 26. 26. I don't have my glasses on, y'all. Make sure y'all read that number right. <laughs> also, an email address. So there is so much more that the Lord wants you to have. But do you really want it? Um, do you want it? That's the question. So much crime that's going on. You know, but God always leaves a way of escape. Mm -hmm. yes. He leaves yes. a way of escape. Yes. So what would you tell him? Oh, that's just the way it is. It, it won't work for me because it didn't work for my mom. It didn't work for my daddy. They said uh, that's the way it was. What do you say to that? I say somebody got to break that generational curse, curse. cycle. Right. Why not you? Right. That's it. Why, Why not you break that generational curse cycle? It doesn't have to be like that. Because one thing God says is that he will establish his holy name. I mean, when sin entered into this world, I mean, this is why all these things are going on right now. But he said he will have a remnant, and he said he will establish his holy name. Yes. You may not believe now, but eventually each and every person will believe. Because the Bible says that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord. So, I mean, if you don't believe now, you're going to believe one day. Why not do it now? This is not all that we have to look forward to. There's mm -hmm. eternity that we have to look forward to. See, a lot of people looking like that this is it. This is it. But the Bible, the God say, uh, uh, David say, Lord, teach us to number our days mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that we can gain a heart of wisdom and understand. Yes. I mean, so um, our days are short here on earth. Life is, life is sweet. Um, life can be enjoyable, mm -hmm. but life is short. Mm -hmm. See, for those that don't have a relationship with Jesus, this is all you have to look forward to, and you believe that this is it. But this is not it. This is just the beginning. Those that are in Christ understand that for us to live is Christ, mm -hmm. and when we die, it's not a loss. Mm -hmm. It's a it's gain. A gain. Yeah. So we can rejoice and say, you know what? We got another. We got better to look forward to Eternity. where there be no more sickness mm -hmm. no more dying no more pain no yes. more sorrow so that's what we look forward to when you have a relationship with jesus that's what you can look forward to jesus asked his disciples who do they say that i am and they start saying who they uh everybody else was saying who he was then he say then he then jesus made it personal he see he say make it personal then he say who do you say that i am mm -hmm. the question is who do you say that jesus is who do you say that Jesus is? You're going to have to know for yourself because the Bible say that we are all naked and exposed to the one we got to give an account to. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't hide nothing. You could try to hide it from man, but God sees everything. We're exposed to everything. And those things that are in the dark will, be turn will come to light eventually. Ooh. So the question is, who do you say that he is? That's it. That's nice. it. Who is Wow, isn't it awesome? Yes. Y'all, to know the Lord, you may say that you've done too much. You may think that what you've done is unforgivable. But I'm letting you know, talk with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Ask him to forgive you. And you know what? He has already forgiven you. Yes. Have you forgiven yourself? Right. You're letting the devil beat you up. Right. Right. You know, and don't keep saying, oh, I'm human. This stuff is going to happen. No. 
You know, it's a cliche. And, and you know, the, the devil is a, a accuser of the brethren. So mm -hmm. he will constantly remind us of things that we might have done in our past or, you know, bring something up from long ago. But we have to know once we invite Jesus in, we are born again. You know, mm. we hear people say, I was born like that. You know, I was born, my mom was like that, my dad was like that, or, you know, I was born this way. Or, but no, once we accept Christ in our lives, we're born again. Mm -hmm. So we are now his children. You know, we have a new, a new father. And so we could look forward to this. You know, so we should never have to live and accept what the enemy is throwing at us. You know, we are we are rich. We're wealthy people. Mm, yes. So we and and we look forward to eternal glory. This yes. is yes. This is exciting. that's why it's, that's why excuse me. That's why it's very important to know who you are. Right. Yeah. Understand your identity. Understand mm. that um, you're you're a child of God. Greater is he that is in you than yes. Satan that is in this world. Yes. You are free from the curse of the law of poverty, sickness, and death. Why? Because Jesus was made the curse for each and every last one of us. So it's very important that we understand who we are and whose we are. Understand your identity. The devil will try to tell you who you are, but understand this. From the beginning, the devil is a liar. Ooh. He's always been, yes. and he always will be. Yes. That's why Jesus say that, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. He's talking about right here on earth. You can Amen. have abundant life right now. Amen. You know, I know um, Brandon is letting us know that our time mm -hmm. is running, but you know, we dare not close out this show on yes. today without offering Christ to you. So no matter where you are, stop for a minute. Put down Facebook. Mm -hmm. Don't tell them we're on right now. Tell them we're on later. Let's give it to God. Pastor, yes. would you pray with us? Yes. So are y'all ready? Yes. Amen. Maybe you're out there and, um, and, and you've never accepted Jesus into your heart and in your life. You're not watching this program by accident. You're watching it uh, for a reason. Jesus say, I stand and knock at your heart. Uh, he say, if you open up, I'll come in and sup with you and you with me. But the thing is, Jesus is a gentleman and he won't just bust through your heart. You're going to have to open up and invite him into your heart, into your life to be your Lord and Savior. Um, and what we want to do right now is we want to pray, pray with you. The sinner's prayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and maybe you're listening to this program right now. And I just want you to repeat after me right now. Close your eyes and mean this from the bottom of your heart. I mean, you've been trying to do it, things yourself, fill voids, and it seemed like those voids never could be filled. But I'm telling you that Jesus can fill every void. Amen. Now, what I want you to do is repeat after me and believe this in your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. Please forgive me for my sins. I believe that you're the son of God. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that you rose from the grave. Now come into my heart, come into my life, be my Lord and savior. In Jesus name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look, we have to go, but Pastor, please let them know one more time where we're located and how they could reach you. We're at 1128 West Simcoe Street in Lafayette, Louisiana. Um, it's right across from Sid's Radiator, closer to the university end of Simcoe. Uh, we would love to have you. We're a church with a passion for God, compassion for, for people. Um, just come in and, and, and just experience uh, a joyful, wonderful time Amen. in the Lord. Amen. Again, y'all, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching, but most of my pastors, my first show as host. <laughs> Am I right? Look, if you see, we have more blessings than the stars in the back of us, yeah. the stars in the sky. So, Ooh, Kenna, and she's, gotta a, go she's such a blessing thing. also. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is, this is oh, her yes. calling right here. Oh, I just this love the Lord. Shout so out to Jesus. To Jesus. We're yes. excited for everything yes. that she's doing. Yes. I mean, God is opening it. major doors and going to yes. continue to open doors. Well, you know what? I, I want what he wants for me. That's Amen. Right. All right. right. So y'all until when? Next, next Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Not next Wednesday, I'm kidding. <laughs> but next month. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and we're out. But we thank God Amen. for Jesus and thank Amen. God for y'all. My first show. Glory to God as host. We as host. To pray for you on the show. We, we did. Pray. God. God moved. Right. Thank, right. thank you. Thank well, you. We're going to pray right now. Yes, you. Lord. Father God, in the name of
Jesus, Lord, yes, we Lord. thank you so much for our sister, Dini, Lord. Yes, we thank you Jesus. for opening doors that no man could close. Yes. Now, yes, Lord, this is only the beginning for something thank so you, much Jesus. greater. Lord, we ask you that you would elevate our sister, Lord God. Yes. Yes. Lord, we ask you, Father God, that she would be able to thank reach you, nations, yes. Father yes. God. Yes. Lord, we ask you, Father, that she would, her voice would be heard, Lord God, across, Lord, the, the, the airways, yes. Father God, Lord, we thank thanking you, you for the gift yes. that you have birthed inside of yes. her, Lord God. Yes. We thank you that it's not going dormant, but Father God, she's producing much fruit. Yes, we ask Lord. you that every soul that that have uh, that have heard her voice, Lord God, that they would receive everything that you have placed inside of Dini to yes. to minister out. That Lord God, you as you send your people her way, they would be not only hearers but they would be doers, yes, Father Lord. God. They would receive and transformation would take place yes, in Thank the name you. of Jesus.